Good morning, y'all. What's up? Let's get it. Let everybody get in real fast. I'm going to talk about this NCAA situation about possibly being able to pay these athletes. We got a lot of people that disagree. We got some people that agree with it. So uh, here's Rock T's thoughts. Y'all can like it or you can not like it. It is what it is. You're welcome to, um, to, to ponder the situation, think about it, and, and place your comments below. I try to get to as many as I can. So if y'all just missed it, uh, I did my sports report on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, and I was talking about the NCAA will be meeting today to discuss and consider allowing college athletes to be paid. Now, um, this will be more of a pro they'll be at a profit from endorsement type opportunities. They're not going to be paying the athletes any salaries if this is approved. So get, understand that. Now, this is just this is my opinion. We're still waiting to see what's going to happen. But in my opinion, it's not going to be like, OK, we cutting you a check because this is how much we're paying you for a salary. It's not going to be that it's going to be paid through endorsement type deals. So let me break down that for you. Um, if an athlete, Rock T goes to Duke University to play basketball. Yes, I get my scholarship. So everybody out there that's talking about, oh, they get paid their full scholarship. They get a lot of money with their scholarship, blah, blah, blah. They earn that scholarship, first of all. Guess what? When I'm playing high school basketball and I'm being recruited by colleges, I've earned that scholarship, okay? Now, once I get to that school, once I get to that university, and, I, and now it's time to play some ball in, in college. From that point on, that university is making more money off of my likeness if I'm one of those top players. So at that point, I should get some sort of endorsements, some sort of compensation, some sort of percentage of my likeness because they're selling millions of dollars of my jersey because I'm one of the top players, Zion Williamson. You know what I'm saying? I can go on and on, but that's just one example in all sports. So at the end of the day, this is a good thing. So now athletes will be able to, if they pass this and they agree to it, athletes will be able to hire an agent. When you're able to hire an agent, what is the agent's job to do for their athlete, for their client, to go out there and get endorsement deals for them so they can get paid? So that's what they'll be able to do. They'll be able to get paid for their likeness, Okay. These agents will be able to go out there and get them a Nike deal, go get them a Subway deal, McDonald's deal, all these, whatever kind of endorsements, make, do TV commercials. That's the way it's probably going to happen. And I think this is a phenomenal thing. Now, is it going to happen next year? Nope. If they approve this and they say, yes, we'll do it this way, it's probably not going to happen until about after 2023 because the new uh, SB 206 law that just passed in the state of California that's already going to be allowing this to happen to California schools, that doesn't kick in until 2023. So this right here probably won't kick in until at least that time and maybe after that. So, uh, but we're moving in the right direction. So that's a good note. All right. So in my opinion, I love it. I've been saying for a long time that these athletes, they need to find ways to, and, um, to um, compensate some of these athletes that go to college. And even the lower tier ones, the ones that's not the big names, you know, shoot, they need to cut, get some too. If they if their jersey is selling, then give them a cut of that. I don't care if it's one percent, three percent, something. Give them a little cut. All right. So, I got a few minutes, man. If y'all want to put your thoughts, yes, this is good for students. It's good for students. It's good for their families, and it's good for them. Period. Oh, let me say this real fast. Let me say this real fast before I let y'all go. The NCAA, billion-dollar industry that relies on college students as the source of their revenue and denies them any type of income. I need y'all to name me one other billion-dollar industry that has been able to get away with this type of business. Name one. I'm waiting. <laughs> name me one. If you think of something... Put the comment below. I'll respond to you. Give me $1 billion industry that allows this to happen. You can't because there's nothing out there. And if there is, please let me know because I want to learn. All right? I got to get back to work, man. Had to get that off my chest. But there it is. Kudos to the NCAA for finally sitting down at the table to have this discussion. And I hope they ain't fronting. I hope they ain't going to just pretend that they're interested in doing this just so they can get the public off their back. And then say, nah, we're not ready to do it or, or prolong it, which is probably going to end up happening. They're going to try to prolong it as long as they can. But 
Good news is they're at least talking about it. And let's see where it goes. All right? Rock T out. Deuces.